are you familiar with the, uh, <coughs> oh, geez, what's the name? Uh, that chatbot system designed to comb through, commu uh, comb through communications of people, text messages and whatnot, uh, and then base uh, a psychological AI model of those messages in order to re uh, in order to replicate the spirit, as it were, of the person. Oh, I heard uh, are you familiar? Like that. What if you combine that. that with a three D scan of that person? You could actually so create paying. like a, you could create a gallery of dead people uh, replicated like as AI. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. There's a series on TV called Black Mirror. I think Mirror. I saw a film mm. with Johnny Depp like that actually, where his consciousness. Well, that's like the too. transferring yeah. your mm -hmm. you know your consciousness into like an AI. You're saying basically like close okay, it. your just just head, I suppose. Kevin and they were doing it, that yeah. at that Somnium space. Do you know that? Is it Somnium? Somnium space? Something, it's a place where you can buy plots of land in VR already. It's something that's up and running. It's quite expensive. They said something that they were going to allow the avatar to start learning things from you. So it'll like even be running when you're not there. And I thought that was like a little bit creepy. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, you know, where it's yeah. like taking your personality. Be, so I'm like, good. I do not want to go to your plot of land, Henry, and be like, is <laughs> this you? Is this really you? Are, are you here? <laughs> like, I don't think I will feel comfortable with that. It would be too weird. Yeah. You know, that topic came up yesterday. I was here yesterday for their, I think it was their first event. But anyway, that, that topic came up, came up yesterday. So I went online to look at that place last night. I signed up and um, you, you have to have a tethered headset to be able to use it. Um, but I guess, but I looked at it in 2D on my computer and, um, you know, I was able to uh, move my avatar around just with the trackpad. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing, but uh, it seems pretty amazing. I mean, the fact that you can actually buy, you know, quote unquote, buy plots of land there. Um, what is I this think called, sorry? A Somnium place, S-O-M-N-I-U-M -M place, I think it is. Yeah, um, and I heard it's right quite expensive now, though. <laughs> is it? Somnium. Somebody told me a plot of land is like $500 or something like that. Yeah, I was like, oh. Even future with the um obviously you could do your job and stuff in VR which a lot of people could do the job in VR now really some jobs anyway um I don't know because I mean even stuff like World of Warcraft some people pay a lot of money for swords and stuff like that so the market is there for people to do stuff like that so I don't know yeah oh I think it's an interesting in the company you know I, I don't know, man. I've tried working in VR, and uh, you know, I, I, really? I've done it. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a software engineer, so uh, I'm a software engineer, so I can get away with it. Um, I tried it for a while, um, mm -hmm. chiefly because I wanted to. I wanted the luxury of being able to play screens wherever I wanted them, uh, for for a number of purposes. Um, I found it very uncomfortable. You really feel that headset after like an hour or two, mm -hmm. and uh, besides that, I, I I am a smoker, so you know I have to take it off sometimes. Uh, well, I suppose maybe for future it ain't VR; it's more like mixed reality or AR for that sort of thing, maybe. Well, Plus, there's a resolution difference. There's a big yeah. resolution. That's what difference. I was gonna say. Resolution is gonna be key to that. Once the tech yeah, reading for eight hours advanced, straight, you're gonna and the and the headset weight, especially now. <laughs> They're Eventually doing mobile devices, which is great, but yeah, that puts I, a lot I, of weight to the front and, you know, pulls down. And so you're, you're having a considerable amount of weight on your face over, like you said, the more time you increase, you know, more pressure it's continuously putting. I've been in VR for, don't judge me, like 12 hours <laughs> before. <laughs> it's like you take that yeah. off and it's like, well, I, can really like that. I can really say that. <laughs> I did watch somebody on YouTube. I don't know if anybody else saw it, but somebody spent a, a, like a full week in VR. Yeah. I met him in here. Wow. Yeah. I'm on his yeah. video. Full week. <laughs> you are? No. I am on his video and I didn't know. He met like two people in here. It was me and Chris. Oh, I can't imagine. Oh, God. That. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of strange. It didn't take it off at all. A while, for a while, it said it felt claustrophobic. It was kind of, um, you know, a bit stifling like that. But he, he went to sleep in VR, he woke up in VR, he went to play like, 
he went out place for community and stuff. He went on a beach yeah. just to relax yeah. and do his, his gym work from the outside. <laughs> he did the yoga in here. Or yeah, meditation kind of, or something. Um, you, you know, that, yeah. that can end up being kind of dangerous, though, because... Yeah. You know, I mean, you got to have a real life um, in addition to the VR life. Um, mm -hmm. I, I can't even imagine that. That's uh, that's that's right. And my personal opinion, I think everybody's gone too much that way. Even though I do, I do love technology and VR and stuff like that. But even things mm -hmm. like social media and stuff. A lot of people just text and stuff now. They can't even, you know, pick up a phone and, and really talk to people. <laughs> but yeah. that's just the way it's going. I it's, it's funny can, you said you social can, media yeah. because. The, um, that is something I think is so unique in here. We have all these forms of social media, and um, I brought this topic up uh, a lot. I went to OC6 recently, Donna over there. Oh, and um, OC6, the Oculus Connect you mentioned? Yeah, yeah. Where did you so I said with Donna stuff? over there. Donna was with me, her and I met in real life just recently. Um, and something that I brought up there was about social media. And we have a lot of forms of social media, and actually the people I was staying with, I kind of used as an, as an example. <laughs> they allowed me to. You know, they're a hardworking couple, both in, you know, he's in tech, she's a nurse, and, and like most couples, they had some problems, you know. And um, I had seen on social media recently that he posts something saying like, a happy anniversary letter, basically, to his wife. And you see this a lot, I'm sure, amongst your friends on social media, where it was like, to my wife, you're the best, you know, thing that yeah. I have, you're so great for our kids, mm -hmm. and like as I read it, thing to do now. It's I know so that really, he doesn't know. write letters like that, and if he right. did, it should be in a card private to her. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so I said yeah. to her, even one day, I, I told her I used this, and she said, so? I said, so, let me ask you a question, and we're very close, so I could ask this of her safely. I said, <laughs> is it more important for you to know that your husband loves you, or that all your friends do? He does, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and You're she right said yeah, that's yeah. a that very good point. Like, mm -hmm. Very true. Very I true. said social media has switched to something that's anything but really social. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite damaging. Mm -hmm. when we sit and play this game that's beat the Joneses, and you yeah. actually go on there and feel pretty awful about yourself in about five minutes as you read what everybody else exactly. is doing. It's and more like a competition. So it, it's yeah. competition, yeah. and it's I think damaging. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I think this is so far one of the purest forms of social media because... Mm -hmm. Well, this yeah. is more, this isn't like social media, like just behind a screen, just looking at what the world is doing. This is just having a conversation with people. So that's... Yeah. Which is social. Wrong with this, and think. you're letting people know yeah. what's going on in your day. And I yeah. can go across and so many people that I meet in the day and it's like, I know what they're going through and it's okay for them to be themselves and be flawed. No. Yeah. And flawed yeah. is fine. And actually in here, yeah. a lot of people feel even more comfortable to say that they are, you know, and their support groups and different things. So I really think that, you know, virtual reality offers people the ability to be themselves. And yeah, you know. yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's interesting that the biggest social media platform is building a world now, Facebook Horizon. I find that in, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think most of the uh, VR development uh, is predicated on user content, actually. You know, the more I think about it, the more I'm starting to realize that. B break down uh, all space. It's a server. Uh, people connect mm -hmm. to it. They have, let's say, not very impressive user models. Um, <laughs> they have the ability to place objects. Code. And everything else, all the events, all the conversations, all the collaboration between actual professionals using this platform, all of those utilities and, 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 and entertainment are all user generated because uh, consumers have been given the tools to do something creatively themselves. That took a long time. Yeah. I thought I'd lost you guys. Okay, so yes, this is... Um we're actually not moving. This is just everything in the world that's moving. You have the, the water, the two planes of water, and this is something that I built in Unity. It's just a prototype. I never wanted to use all of these things. I just pulled some objects in to get the effect. There's a mermaid. Yes, there it's is a mermaid awesome. out there. But, um, I, mean, like, I like the puppy. 
Well, that's Charlie. <laughs> Charlie's actually something my friend Ben gave me for my birthday. I actually, there was a bounce house in here a little bit ago. That's what I gave him for his. Um, but Charlie is actually, he used a nav mesh at our home space and then he would follow to different waypoints and we could actually throw a ball and play fetch with him and stuff. So we had the first dog in alt space. So we, we were pretty popular with that. Everybody wanted to sit and play fetch with Charlie and he runs back and sits and waits and he's like, <laughs> so you find yourself throwing it and you're like, this isn't a real dog. But you felt like you just needed to keep throwing the ball for Charlie. And I was like, I've got to leave this space because I couldn't stop throwing the ball to him. It was just kind of goofy. But yes, this is all done with just animation and unity. And once you go out in the water, you can see that. You know, once you, if you try and go on the island, it's going to move. Everything moves. So... And the animation is not synced in alt space, so everybody's going to see a mermaid. And then if I say, okay, everybody, go where the mermaid is, you will all be at different places because we all see the mermaid at different times. So that's what was frustrating about a lot of stuff okay. here. So how, how's that work? Why would you see it in different places? Um, and then there is an SDK running in here, and this is just attaching a, uh, let me see sword to everybody's hand. Ready? Mm -hmm. oh, isn't it? Ooh. 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 <laughs> That's cool. Well, this guy even got like okay. lightsaber sound effects. Nice. <laughs> I feel like I'm not hearing anybody's audio or everybody's lagging. Is anyone speaking? Yeah, can you hear me? Um, I am. I am now. I am, but everybody's lagging really weirdly. I'm not sure why. Since you can hear me now. See the thing is a bit of a Yeah, I can. I'm tempted to touch the blade with my other hands. 